Hello Crafty friends, thank you so much for joining me again. Today I'm going to make a couple of cards using these lovely items that I purchased recently from Spellbinders. They were on sale, so I had a very good deal for them. And they are super adorable. <laughs> I got this one, it's more like a Christmas one, even if it's got some um, birthday bits and stuff. So I'm not going to make anything um, with this one today. But uh, I'm going to use the other three, that they are two cute dies and um, uh, embossing folder that I used already in a previous video. So for card number one, I'm, I'm going to start making an umbrella. Those dies are from uh, Vicky Papayanos. <laughs> I never can pronounce her surname, but uh, she's amazing. And I love all her video. It was my first introduction to craft actually so I will um, link her uh, channel below if you I doubt that you never saw, um, saw her videos but um, I'll link it just in case <laughs> because I think it works to watch and that's it I'm gonna I die cut the same umbrella out of um, silver cardstock and then uh, patterning paper and then once I cut off the little bits extra on the patterning paper it, it seems like it's got some metal bits on the um, now on the umbrella like like a bit more realistic look so I'm just gonna cut off all the little bits at the end and then it give you a lot more realistic uh, looking umbrella that is still super adorable the paper, the patterning paper, come from um, a spellbinder uh, card kit from a few months ago. Don't remember which one, but absolutely love it. So I want to use every single little pieces I've got. <laughs> um, now on the second layer, I will I will pop it up with a bit of uh, foam strip tape. And now at this point I forgot to attach the <laughs> the middle bits that I die cut in uh, silver cardstock. So I'm just gonna attach it now. I was supposed to attach a bit higher, but it's fine because um, a long arm is good for me for what I want to do. Then after that, I'm just gonna attach the second part on top. Look how adorable this umbrella is. I'm gluing the, the two um, extremi extremity. <laughs> the, anyway, I'm gonna use a bit of glue to as well to st stick it together on the on the side. Is it just a standard? Uh, standard glue in a squeeze bottle and now at the at the end the handle I dare cut with blue cardstock and um, gluing it down I love my little uh, tweezers that keep everything in place and help me with my small pieces and now the second one I'm gonna I cut the, this lovely little bunny. I wanted this bunny for so long, I thought it was super adorable. And I just uh, uh, turn it on the back of the face and just uh, attach a strip of colors behind, black for the eyes and pink for the nose. So you get uh, the little cute face. <laughs> there you go. And it seems a lot complicated, but it's not actually. It's very, very easy to put it together. Got the in internal part of the hair that I die cut in pink. And um, as a belly, I die cut it in uh, light gray, in a warm gray. And now two dots of glue at this extremity of the here just to glue it 
to the head. In the end, it's, in the end, it's quite simple to put it together. They are very small pieces, so it's... Uh, I've got fat fingers, so it's not it's super easy to, to put it together, but still one of my favourite things to do. A bit of glue there. Make sure you want it to put the, the head in the right position and then I'll stick it together with my tweezers and it's done. Now the harm come with options. <laughs> you can have a, like a simple um, harm like that without anything or you can have the little harm with the hand at the end grabbing something. So I'm gonna use one of the normal one and one a grabby hand because I want to attach it to the umbrella. How cute is this? <laughs> I can't believe how adorable they are. So I don't know, I don't remember who designed the, the little bunny, but um, it's just, just super cute. Now, this is my embossed panel. I embossed with the cloudy embossing folder. And I'm going to make a very simple scene. Now I'm gluing the umbrella to the hand of the little bunny. There you go, very simple. You just slide it in and then I'll uh, of course keep it with my tweezer to let it dry. And I'm using the wonderful script sentiment from Yanas Makula, um, just the word hello. And I die cut the, mm, and the shadow with the light blue and uh, the words, the outline words in white. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm using very uh, soft uh, pastel color for my card today. This is the little um, rainbow that come uh, with the Vicky uh, dies, the umbrella, there is um, a sun, there is um, a little, um, a few little clouds. Yes, it's just so cute. It comes even with some uh, lightning balls <laughs> in case it got bad weather. And that's it. I'm just gonna attach the two clouds just to cover the the end of my rainbow. And then I will die cut the excess after. And the word hello. I'm just gonna glue it together to the shadow. I did cut just once, but I'm very thick cardstock, so it's like 300 um, GSM cardstock, so it's quite, quite thick. There we go. And now. I'm gonna put some double side, uh, sorry, dub, um, foam tape, foam square, that they're not square, they're rectangle, but <laughs> just at the back of my little bunny. Just a couple of pieces. Just to pop it up a little bit. As I said, it's, in the end, it's an extremely simple card. There you go, flying away. <laughs> And now I'm gonna attach my yellow. I'm just gonna glue it flat as well. I want the, just the bunny to have a, the dimension the, and the umbrella, of course. And now I'm gonna cut off the excess of my rainbow and uh, attach my panel with double side tape to my card base that is just slightly larger. So it'll give you a little bit of uh, white borders that match the color of the bunny. The panel is in um, watercolor cardstock that is slightly creamy. And the card is done. Now for the card number two, I'm gonna use again my favorite embossing folder to emboss um, a long uh, slimline panel. Uh, no, I don't remember the measurement <laughs> sorry I might put it down on the description if I remember and now I die cut 
again using the last bits of think of, I had of this paper, um, the clouds, and I just attach it to the cardstock one I made because um, I want to give a bit more strength and dimension. But and then I attack them together with the, the sun. Now I'm making the. I made another uh, bunnies. This time he had the two grubby hands on the side. And uh, I glue it together with the swing bits that come in the bunny kit. There you go, one side and the other. And let it to dry a few minutes and then I glue <coughs> my swing to the to the bit that is uh, this bit come of course in the in the die set and this uh, make the swing work <laughs> let's say and I think it's super 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 cute because you can, you see at the end what's happened, but it's adorable the fact that you can uh, make the swing works. Now a bit of glue to attach the, the last bit of my swing. There you go. How cute is this? The mechanism is very simple. But it will work. Now I'm gonna uh, cut off the there is some excess of my swing, they'll be too long, so I'm just gonna shorten up. And now I create um, a um, circle foam square because I didn't have any <laughs> a foam circle, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> I'll show you later how I made it. Now, here I made a bit of a little mistake. I attach my foam square a bit too lower so the swing doesn't move too much <laughs> on one side at least <laughs> just realize now that, that it, it move on the other side so I decide to leave it so but the secret is to uh, put your uh, foam square a bit slightly higher so it block a certain point to the swing but not too much so it can move a bit more freely now it's time to uh, adhere my little cluster of clouds and the sun to my panel they are stick together by a bit of tape behind but when i put them the foam they all stay in place nicely there you go, and now my little swing work. <laughs> now, um, this is uh, uh, the word beautiful. I die cut from the wonderful script that I set from Yanas Makula again, and uh, is as you say on the word beautiful. <laughs> I die cut out of uh, uh, holographic gold cardstock and they layer it with uh, some um, uh, white cardstock just to give a bit of dimension and this word hello this tiny little word hello is part of a sentence um, again from a sentiment um, foil from uh, spellbinders and uh, now I'm just gonna I foam uh, board my my panel and attach it to a long slim line card, quite big one. It's uh, a third of a A4 size. A4 in in UK is uh, <laughs> it's like a more or less like your international uh, paper. And that's it. The card was done. Now card number three. I'm using this um, lovely um, embossed panel. This one is from um, Spellbinder 
May Kit of the Mons and Bo- the Standard Embossing Folder. And I'm using this uh, Happy Birthday die that I found online in Amazon that I'm going to link below. Very cheap and cute. And I'm going to cut the... F- I cut the three balloons out of the same color cardstock I used in the previous um, card. The, the balloons are in the bunny kit. And the bunny this time is a, a kind of warm grey color with a grubby hand. <laughs> and they're just going to make him fly with the balloon. This time it's going to be able to move using the same mechanism of the swing. So while this one dry, I'm going to show you how I create my little circle form. So I had a little panel of uh, fan foam that I, I put uh, sticky um, double, double side paper on both sides and I simply use a hole puncher to create my little foam circles. That's it, done. <laughs> So I'm just going to attach one in the center of my mechanism. There we go. Then I close it with the negative part of um, cut off from the mechanism things. And this time I'm going to put a bit higher my foam square. I'm not going to make the same mistake so it can move a little bit more. There you go. Now I'm just going to attach a, a, a strip uh, of um, foam, sticky foam in my mechanism because I want the balloon to be attached on top of that. So the foam uh, add um, the foam square, they're not, they're sticky, they're not sticky. I kept the release paper so the balloons can move freely. There you go. That was really cute. <laughs> and now time to glue my happy birthday die cut. Again, I die cut out of white cardstock and then I'm gluing on a shadow dies that is, I die cut in the same light blue cardstock as before. I want this free cards to be you know, soft colored and sweet could be for children. I do have a friend that is obsessed with bunnies, so this one is actually for her. <laughs> there we go, because it's her birthday. And I just put some phone tape as a phone square at the back of my of my sentiment to pop it up a bit. Now, as it look a bit too simple, I decide to add some um, of these lovely, cute little flowers that was in um, May Large Diodemont Spellbinder Kit. And I just use them to decorate my, my sentiment. So I'm gonna attach a couple of flowers here and there with the a couple of the leaves and I think they looks really cute they are a different type there is this uh, kind of daisy looking <laughs> little flower there you go so I use again the soft color cardstock uh, some uh, pink just pink and uh, Like, and I think I used um, a yellow one as well, if I remember correctly. I oh, know maybe just the other yellow center. Yeah, there is. So it's still very soft. But this uh, little flowers, flowers are used everywhere because <laughs> they are. I don't know. Love them. Super adorable. You can decorate everything, tags, um, cards, um, everything. And that's it. I want it to keep it very simple. 
Now I'm gonna glue my foam, already foam board on my card as the exactly same size, it's a five by seven. There you go. And uh, to attach it, I'm just gonna stand them up, find one corner and be, try my luck. <laughs> and it works. Again, I kept it really simple. And that was card number three. I think it came out sweet. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the cards. And uh, if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.